I'm Tracy Bonfito, Curator of Art at the Harry Ransom Center, and I'm taking a closer look at Frida Kahlo's self-portrait with Thorn Necklace and Hummingbird from 1940. This painting is an excellent example of the artist's mature style portraiture. The viewer is immediately confronted with Kahlo's gaze, which is at once both piercing and calm. There's a very sophisticated composition to the work. The viewer's eye tracks from the monkey on the left, across Kahlo's hair and eyebrows, over to the cat at the right, and finally to the hummingbird in a subtle circle. The arch of the hummingbird's wings is beautifully echoed in the shape of Kahlo's eyebrows, and the downward angle of the wings and the lower register of the painting is balanced via the opposite angle of the dragonfly flowers at the painting's top register. The skillful shading used by the artist here adds a rich depth to Kahlo's face and neck, and that plays wonderfully off the overall flatness of the painting that is created by the wall of foliage immediately behind her. There is an intense realism to the painting that is conveyed through Kahlo's skillful brushwork. It's strikingly seen in the glint in the cat's eye, also in the smeared traces of Kahlo's blood on her neck, and in the delicately rendered feathers of the hummingbird and again in the monkey's hair that's going every which way in such a careful and naturalistic rendering. And those depictions, which act almost as nature studies, are confronted by the painting's more surrealistic or fantasy elements, such as the dragonfly flowers. In this portion of the painting, flowers have the ability to fly and to hover above the two butterflies, Whereas the butterflies, creatures that are typically very active, appear frozen into place. There is an intriguing variety in the different expressions on the painting's three main figures. Kahlo herself looks resolute, intense, and amazingly calm, while the cat appears agitated, intent, and ready to strike. It's a look that probably all cat owners recognize. The monkey, on the other hand, with its eyes fixed on its busy fingers, looks distracted, curious, and preoccupied on a project all its own as it manipulates Kahlo's thorn necklace. The artist's signature appears in the upper right corner of the painting, dated 1940. In the two decades following its creation, the painting hung in the New York City apartment of photographer Nicholas Marai, who also collected additional works by Kahlo and by other renowned artists, including Miguel Covarrubias and Rufina Tamayo, and these are today part of the Ransom Center's art collection holdings. I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at one of Frida Kahlo's most important works, and there's so much more to see. We invite you to spend time looking closely at this remarkable painting in person at the Harry Ransom Center and to explore our collections both in our galleries and on our website.